so hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we are going to do uh, image and anchor tags in html so if you don't know that this is a part of html playlist go and watch it the link is on the i button and uh, the link is on the description also don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and uh, help my channel grow if you like this content now the software i am using is called visual studio code the link will be in the description it's basically a good software for coding so i will recommend you that so go and download it now i'll put a emmet plate in here and uh, this is in this software only it comes it's an automatic that uh, code basic in the title i'll write images image and anchor tags okay i'll write image and anchor tags because that's the title and now in the body what i'll write is first i'll open this in my web page in my browser so i've opened it and i haven't written anything so it's not showing anything so i'll write some content in the body i'll write i want my text to be center i want my text to be h1 i want my text to be underlined and i'll write image and anchor tags okay in html i refresh here and see image and anchor tags so how do we insert an image in our web page okay how do we do it so first of all go to the folder in which your html file in which your this file is kept my file is kept in this folder okay in html css and javascript folder okay and my image is kept in here in different folder okay so what uh, i'll give you a tip for beginners that keep the html file and the this library this i mean photo or the image at the same paths that means they should be together like this not in a different folder okay they should be together then it will be very easy to code for beginners if this is in another folder then what can happen is you have to insert the folder name also and then a slash and then the file name okay so to insert an image the tag is simply img and img and then after that I image it comes source source means the link in my it is in images the folder images see we don't have to put this link okay we don't have to put this source we have to put the source from our file so from our file the uh, photo is inside images folder so images and then slash inside that i'll write see for most of you uh, it will look like this okay and just a name but you can't write just a name okay you have to write extension also this will not work why because you have to write an extension also dot jpg okay so how will you know which extension for it uh, go right click and properties and you can see the extension in here dot jpg in the brackets so you have to write always library dot jpg so always you want to view any, any extension because that is important if you don't write an extension here it won't work okay so to find any uh, image or any folder extension not folder any file extension right click and properties and in this bracket you can see the extension dot jpg so i'll write uh, library dot jpg and then when i'll refresh see the image has come okay it's, it depends see it's the image is small now because the image size is small actually okay i'll teach you in another video that how to resize the image size for now just go on with it now what if i want what if suppose my image is deleted from the file from its path or it is moved or it is changed or, or its name is changed 
so it will show nothing why right? because the image name is changed or the image path is changed then it will show nothing so what i'll write here is to make it correct i'll write alt tag and in that i'll write uh, there is an error with image now whatever is written in the alt tag will only show when there is error with image okay whatever you write in the alt tag will only show when you have an error with image like for now i don't have any error so it will not show but for error i what i'll do is i'll just go and delete this image okay or i'll change the name okay i'll change the name to book if i change the name i have written book here but i have written library here so what will happen is i will refresh it then whatever i have written in the alt that means instead of the image when image can't be there or is when there is an error with image show whatever there whatever is there in the alt tab so it is written there is an error with image okay so that's alt tab but if you don't have any error like a uh, library okay and i'll refresh it and see if you don't have any error it will not show okay if you don't have any error with image the text in the alt will not show otherwise it will show okay so that was image tag now we'll come to anchor tag now what is anchor tag first i'll put some breaking spaces and then after that anchor tag means simply url tag in html that means if you want to insert any url any link let's say example google.com facebook.com so you will use it you will put it uh, with the use of anchor tag anchor means hook hook means that uh, if you have any text in your web page and it is a hyperlink it connects your web page to google.com suppose okay so it is connecting your web page to google.com so that's an hook an anchor so that's why it's called anchor so if you want to put any url link or hyperlink you will just put you will just use it using anchor tag in html which starts a this is the syntax a and then h r e f now what is href href is basically the link we have to insert the link i'll put https and then you have to insert it properly okay then only it will come google.com yeah and, uh, it's an example and then in this in this you have to write the text which you want to convert into a hyperlink i like google only. you can write any text you can even write ronak okay suppose i am writing this i'll enter see here on up in blue mark wait a second yes see this ronald it's an underline and it's blue color that means it's a link see it's uh, showing down there https google.com on the uh, bottom left that means it's a link when i click this google gets opened okay whenever i click this google gets open okay it is it is taking time because my internet is slow so that was anchor tag and image tag okay so i hope you liked my video and don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to comment and if you have any queries just ask me in the comment section below and i'll meet you again in the next video till then Bye bye and the code is in the description